Hi everyone and welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. Uh, today we're going to learn how to loop back to the start of your program. Uh, in my case I'm going to use console. Uh, it's it's going to work with everything pretty much. So head over to Mark's Visual Studio, go to File and New Project, Console Application, let's say while start and let's write our code so we'll need a bool we'll say backdop equals true and then we'll do the while backdop and then we'll put our code in, the in this and then here we're going to say backdop equals false and uh, anything you put here uh, it's gonna loop back so we're gonna do let's do string and let's say names equals and let's say let's say one two or three and there is a console dot right line and we're gonna say type any number and then what we're gonna do we're gonna write our string we say string console read equals console dot read line so anything we type the console is going to read it and it's going to put it into this variable and then we're going to say int x equals array dot index of and we'll put names and then go on read and then we're going to say if x is greater than minus 1 then console dot right line we're going to do this and then we're going to say console dot right line it's Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna say else console the right line she was nothing and then we'll say console the right line and then we can say try again. So this is pretty much the code, so basically what's going to happen now um, the console is going to say type a number and we're going to type a number if this number is in our array it's going to say it's available and then it's going to look back if not it's going to say try again and it's going to look back so save it and type a number let's say 4 it says try again because we don't have 4 so if we say 2 say it's available and then if we say one it's available three it's available and if nothing it's gonna say try again try again try again thank you for watching the tutorial i uh, hope you learned and enjoyed uh, don't forget to like and subscribe thank you